I'm Murphy Limon, OM Tech Laser Support Specialist. Your laser engraver's autofocus sensor makes the laser focusing process almost effortless. It works with the Z-axis motor to sense the workpiece and lower the workbench to the perfect focal distance. Without a working autofocus sensor, you'll have to focus the laser manually, which adds extra time to each project. Today, I'll show you how to replace the autofocus sensor on your OM Tech. To replace the autofocus sensor, you'll need a 2.5 mm Allen wrench, wire cutters, wire strippers, crimpers, a butt connector, and electrical tape. Once you have all your tools ready, we can move on to the first step. Step one, open the work bed cover and locate the red autofocus probe mounted on the laser head. Step two, loosen and remove the single hex screw that holds the autofocus plunger in place. Step three, use your wire cutters to cut the autofocus cord and be sure to leave about four inches of wire to work with. Be careful not to cut any of the other cords. Step four, to install the new autofocus sensor, first cut the sensor cable about four inches from the red sensor. Then use a knife or razor blade to open up the insulation or rubber housing around the wire. Now you can easily pull apart the insulation to remove it from about one and a half inches of the wire, revealing three internal wires. Step five, next, cut away the extra insulation using your wire cutters. Then use your wire strippers to remove the inner layer of insulation from each internal cable. Step six, repeat these steps to do the same for the old autofocus wire. Once you have the ends of both cables ready, you can connect them. Step seven, insert the three wires from the new autofocus sensor into each butt connector. Then insert the three wires from the old autofocus cable into the other end of the butt connector. Ensure all of the inserted wires reach the butt connector's metal tube. Step eight, now use your crimpers to crimp both sides of the butt connector. Make sure the metal tube is crimped on both sides. You can use either heat shrink tubing or electrical tape to protect the new wiring. Step nine, now we can test out the new autofocus sensor. First, turn on the machine, then press up on the bottom of the autofocus plunger. When the plunger rises, a red light on top of the plunger should turn on. This light indicates that the autofocus is working. Now you can run a test design using the new autofocus. If you're still having trouble with it, give us a call. I'll be happy to help. And that's how to replace your autofocus sensor. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe to OMTech on YouTube. That's all for now. Thanks for watching this OMTech install.